Hi guys! Today we're going to be going over how to write a notable editorial. So I know we really haven't talked about this in class before, but um, today we're going to be introducing a new topic and I thought that the best way to do it would be through a YouTube video. So today our learning targets are going to be, I understand that editorial writing is important because it is, because it is going to help me be able to clearly state my opinion on a topic that I care about. I understand the basic elements of writing an editorial column and how it is produced. I know the steps it takes to write a strong editorial column, and I can identify a topic that I want to write about an editorial on, and I can clearly state my stance with supporting evidence. So I think these learning targets are really important today because we have never written editorials before. And some of you guys probably don't even know what an editorial is. So that's the goal of today's video is to at least introduce this topic to you guys and for you guys to understand the steps it's going to take for you to write a strong editorial. Before we get started, and you guys can pause the video if you want to take a second to think about this, I want to ask you all, what is the most controversial topic in your community right now, and how do you feel about it? So before you pause the video and think about this for a second, um, when you think of controversial, um, don't necessarily think about drama that's happening in school or gossip. That wouldn't be really a controversial topic. Um, think of something in your community that um, stirs people up or something that makes people you know, angry or happy or sad, some type of emotion um, should be attached to this controversial topic um, in your community right now. And then you can also think about how it makes you feel. So after you have your idea, um, really think about that for a second, and we're going to come back to this. So first, before we move on, we're going to go over what an editorial is. So an editorial is an article written by the editor of a newspaper or magazine. Editorials include the editor's opinions supported by facts and are often used to persuade readers to a certain point of view. So why is this important? I want to ask you guys this question because I really think that editorial writing is significantly important. Um, an editorial, really, you're persuading your readers to think a certain way, but you're also writing about something that you really care about. Um, so for my editorial, um, say I wanted to write about something that I really cared about. Well, if I'm writing about something that I care about um, and I'm really passionate about, I want my readers to feel the same way that I feel or at least understand how I'm feeling. So that's why I think editorial writing can be really cool um, because you're getting to express yourself in a different way that you may have not been able to do before. So your first step in writing an editorial is going to be choosing a topic. Um, you wanna make sure that you're choosing a topic that you care about um, that I just ranted on about that part for like three minutes straight, but definitely choose a topic that you care about because it's going to make writing this so much easier and fun for you. Um, so your topic should be interesting, be current, and have a purpose. So if I wanted to choose an, um, a topic, say my example topic is going to be, um, say we got a new dress code at school. There's my topic. So my second step is going to be asking myself, what is my angle? Um, so you want to clearly and explicitly state your opinions on your topic. You don't want to leave your audience to guess how you feel about your topic. You want to make sure that you fully understand behind your claim. Um, so an example of this would be, I stand against the new school dress code. Um, so this is really interesting too. I forgot to mention this previously. But editorials are included in newspapers. Um, editorial columns are like almost like letters from the editor. Um, and they're going to give your audience more of an opinion. Um, so I think it's really cool that we can write like this in a newspaper and have our personal opinions um, stated in newspapers. Um, but this is going to be, this editorial column is going to be part of a bigger project that you guys are going to be doing later in the class. You're going to be creating a class newspaper. Um, just for fun. <laughs> but I wanted to include writing an editorial because I think it's really important um, for persuasive writing as well. So um, yeah, so that's the second step is deciding what your angle is going to be on your topic. Your third step is going to be to get your facts straight. So before constructing your editorial into sentences, I would recommend writing a list of facts that support your claim. 
So you want to ask yourself, why is it important to be able to back yourself up with facts? Um, so basically, you just don't want to be speaking into the void and not having any evidence to support your claim. Um, an example of lists of facts would be, for my topic, um, students were not consulted in this decision, um, or there were no documents to view um, the dress code policy. Um, so your fourth step is going to be to state the rebuttal. You want to ask yourself, what is the oppo opposing argument to your stance? You want to clearly state the people or groups who oppose you, or else the moving parts of your editorial will, be, will become foggy and hard to follow. So surprise, um, you will probably have to interview people for this. We will go over that later. Um, we will go over interviewing more in class, just so you guys have an idea of what you're going to be doing for this assignment. Um, you're going to want to include indirect and direct quotes from the opposing viewpoint. That is super important to do because you want to make sure that your audience knows that your opinion isn't the only opinion, and it may not even be the right opinion. It's your opinion. So, um, yeah, that's why this is super important. Um, step number five is what is the solution? So you want to put your solution to the problem out there as and so that is as imperative as providing evidence to support your claim. Your solution must be clear, rational, and doable. So you want to provide a solution because, um, if, or else you're just kind of complaining. Um, so my solution to the new dress code would be, the new dress code should have to be voted on and approved by the student body before it goes into effect. So really providing a solution is going to be a compelling way to also keep your um, audience interested in what you're trying to say. So step number six is you're gonna offer a call to action and wrap it up. So what do you want your audience to do after reading this article? Do you want them to take a stand against the new school dress code with you or how can you make them do that? Um, so also you wanna keep your editorial concise. Anything longer than 800 words, you'll begin to lose your reader. So eliminate any jargon that you're including in your editorial. Um, so I know this slide says you're ready to write, but um, I really want you guys to click through this PowerPoint a couple times before we come to class tomorrow. Um, really go over um, what, an editorial is and know what it is before we go into writing them tomorrow. So I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow and good luck.